सेल द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इज नोन एज सेल सेल्स आर असेंबल्ड टू मेक द बॉडी ऑफ एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म एज द बिल्डिंग्स दो बिल्ड ऑफ सिमिलर ब्रिक्स हैव डिफरेंट डिजाइन्स शेप्स एंड साइजेस similarly organisms differ from one another but are all made up of cells who discovered the cell robert hook discovered the cell robert hook in 1665 observed slices of cork under a microscope he noticed partitioned boxes in the cork cell that appeared like a honeycomb he also noticed that one box was separated from the other by a wall or partition hook coined the term cell for each box some organisms are made of one cell only and all functions are performed by that cell such single celled organisms are called unicellular uni means one cellular means cell example is amoeba that is unicellular and captures food respires excretes grows and reproduces on the other hand there are organisms that are made of more than one cell and are called multicellular organisms multi means many cellular means cell examples are human beings and animals human body has trillions of cells which vary in shapes and sizes but an organism with billions of cells begins life as a single cell which is the fertilized egg the cells vary in shape amoeba is a single cell and has no definite shape white blood cell is also a single cell and changes its shape cells present in our body also have different shapes nerve cell is the longest cell as it receives and transfers messages and helps to control and coordinate the working of different parts of the body and the size of these cells in living organisms may be as small as millionth of a meter or may be as large as a few centimeters however most of the cells are not visible to unaided eye the smallest cell in bacteria is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer the largest cell is the egg of an ostrich that is 1.7 mm into 130 mm the size of the cell is related to its function and not to the size of the animal cell structure and function 
tissue. A group of similar cells performing a specific function is called tissue, such as epithelial tissue, blood tissue in animals. Organ when different tissues are assembled to perform a specific function, they are called organ. For example, digestive organs in digestive system. Each organ in the system performs specific functions such as digestion, assimilation, and absorption. Parts of a cell. Now let us discuss parts of the cell. Basic components of a cell are cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus. Cell membrane. The membrane that separates a cell from another and cell from the surrounding medium is called cell membrane or plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is porous and allows the movement of substances or materials both inward and outward. You can observe the components in the onion cell and cheek cell. The boundary of the cell is the cell membrane. The cell membrane gives shape to the cell. In plant cell, there is a outer thick layer and is called cell wall. Cell wall is only present in plant cell and not in animal cell. What is the function of cell wall? It protects plant against variations in temperature, high wind speed, atmospheric moisture. Cytoplasm the jelly-like substance present in cell in which various other components or organelles of cells are present is called cytoplasm. Nucleus A spherical body located in the center of the cell that carries the genetic material is known as nucleus. Nucleus is separated from the cytoplasms by a membrane called nuclear membrane. In the nucleus present is a smaller spherical body called nucleolus. Nucleus contains thread-like structures called chromosomes. These chromosomes carry genes. Genes help in inheritance of characters from parents to the offsprings. What are the functions of nucleus? It is the center of inheritance. It is the control center of the activities of the cell. In the cell cytoplasm, and nucleus together is known as protoplasm. Vacuole Blank looking structures present in the cell is called vacuole. Plant cells have one big vacuole and animal cells have many small vacuoles. Blastids Plant cell contain colored bodies known as plastids. Green color plastids are called chloroplasts. The chloroplast gives green color to the leaves. 
plastids are absent in animal cell. Differences between plant cell and animal cell. Cells of plant and animal have many components same such as cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. But there are few differences between plant and animal cells. Plant cell has a cell wall. Animal cell does not have a cell wall. Plant cell has one big vacuole and animal cell has small vacuoles. Plant cell has plastids but animal cells have no plastids.